The National Council for Arts and Culture has unveiled the first phase of a virtual tour of Nigeria. The innovation, which has been christened a cultural therapy, showcases Nigeria's rich cultural diversity and heritage and captures six destinations in each of the geopolitical zones. TJ Swadili has more on this. There is no doubt the COVID-19 pandemic has brought with it the good, the bad, and the ugly. Even as businesses and industries struggle to adapt to the new normal, the pandemic has provided an avenue to think outside the box, giving rise to new ideas and innovations. The culture and tourism industry in many countries is one of many sectors that has been largely affected by the imposition of national lockdowns and travel restrictions as part of efforts to flatten the curve of transmission. It is a different story for Nigeria's tourism sector as the National Council for Arts and Culture has devised a way around physical restrictions. It is in form of a virtual cultural tour of Nigeria. This innovation will give individuals across the globe the opportunity to assess tourist destinations in Nigeria from the comfort of their homes through an electronic device with an active data plan. This is not a joke. It is not a joke. Going around the country with a team to produce what you are seeing here today is not a joke. Somebody must tell the story of our country. Maybe this is the beginning of telling the story of Nigeria. Nobody has ever been able to capture Nigeria in its totality like we have done here now. The Director General of the NCAC sees this as a notable achievement as Nigeria is the first country in West Africa to unveil this virtual tour. Today I did a little research and I found out that Nigeria is the first country to go in depth to what we have done. Because you can stay here and visit the whole of our Ibom. You can see the man quickly called us that we didn't show everything about uh, the slave route. We, didn't, we only did the executive brief, but the link we release now, if you open it at your comfort when you get home, every, it's, in fact, in another country, this is a lifetime production. The agency says the virtual cultural tour will be used as a template ahead of the National Festival of Arts and Culture that has been scheduled for October this year. Tijesu Adui, TVC News, Buja.